The first day of October 2009, Berlin, the publishers of The Leper's Bell, and myself, we proposed to launch the autobiography in the College of Typing at Tego Street, Glasgow. To this end, I fitted myself into my Hugo Boss suit. As I started to uh, talk, introduction to my, my some excerpt from the speech, I noticed in front of me a Lewis woman with a, a very stern face, a face that had been chiseled out of stone. She looked, in fact, with her tight, narrow mouth and her hair in a queue like one of the colony standing stones and seemed to have the same thought in her head as they had too. Oh Lord, won't someone send me back to Carloway? Anyway, I stumbled my way through what I'd prepared to say and uh, it was another monotonous success. Uh, we sold an awful lot of books. It was a miraculously short moment I had in the limelight. I think the book has... Uh, confine me to a permanent obscurity, but that's not quite true, because in me, Archie Mackay of Paper is coming back to sample my coffee, and perhaps something stronger, and he's going to give a critique of my book in Paper, and he's going to tell the people that Berlin, realising the opportunity I've missed, are about to launch a softback copy of the Leper's Bell, Reflections of a Changeling by Norman MacLean. <laughs>